Howdy, Fuzzy Biker here, and look what I have today. Look at that. Isn't that just smoking? That is just a smoking hot bike. Check that out. Look at those massive brakes. Zard, two into one header. Look at that beautiful paint. What is this, a sports bike? Sport tour bike? Hot rod? What is this? Just an absolutely gorgeous machine. Beautiful, beautiful in every way. So basic, what is it? Well, it's a Triumph Speed Twin 2022. Just a gorgeous machine. It's got the 1200 cc, it's actually 1197 cc, 100 horsepower, 82 foot pound, parallel twin, four valve per cylinder, so eight valves total, fuel injected with twin throttle bodies, just a gorgeous hot rod engine, liquid cooled of course. I mean, just their ultimate fast, fast, fast 1200, the, you know, the, Bonneville 1200 HP engine, high power. The crank, uh, the crank's been lightened. There's uh, something like 10% or 20% less inertial mass, inertial mass compared to the other ones. It's just a beautiful thing. Just a beautiful thing right there. The uh, going back, it's got a six-speed transmission. Look at that shifter. Look at just, everything's cast. Everything's beautiful. Everything, every detail is right. Look at this. Look at that case. I mean, just a gorgeous, all-around gorgeous thing. Just true beauty. Speed and beauty all wrapped up in one. This is one of my overall favorite Triumphs, as far as a hot rod bike goes. And this one's been modified by Baxter Cycle. It's just, it's just been hopped up to all in. I, I, you know, we were talking about what is this motorcycle. You know, the uh, Speed Twin is really a, a classic style sports bike, but this one's got bags and a windscreen and, you know, this all the little goodies that make it kind of a sport tour bike. You know, these Pepco Becker bags. Just a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Um, it's got a gorgeous sound. It's got a 270 degree crank, of course. It's got that beautiful, here, let's turn this on. GoPro never shows us right, but it's got this beautiful look in the headlight. It's just, just fabulous, fabulous. So let's talk about what's stock first. We already mentioned the engine and the transmission. Uh, we jump over here to the brakes. Well, let's start. Let's start at the fork. Marzucci reverse fork. I think that has a. Uh, it's a 43 millimeter fork with about 120 millimeters of travel. That says uh, about 4.7 inches. That's on the front. I mean, isn't that just, you know, low mass? I mean, that, that's just everything. You know, the back has got the twin shocks on there. And uh, that's got a, also got 120 millimeters of uh, travel. Like I said, 4.7 inches. The jumping over to one of my, every Triumph, the beauty of every Triumph are the brakes, the handling of the brakes. Everything about Triumph's beautiful, but uh, look at these Brembos. Just absolutely gorgeous, large, 320 millimeter radial mount, monoblock, four piston Brembos. I think these are the uh, M50. Just, and, and I've, I've used these on different bikes. I've ridden this bike. They're just fabulous. They are the ultimate in braking. Look at that massive floating disc. Just phenomenal looking. Phenomenal. And if you jump to the back, I think she's got the uh, 220 millimeter on the back. That's probably in this end. It's a two pot, it looks like. Just gorgeous. The uh, frame on this, it's a metal frame with an aluminum front section to lighten it up. This down tube comes from right about here, all the way back here somewhere. Take a little weight off of it. I think the bike weighs wet, I think 475 pounds or something like that stock form. Just a gorgeous thing. Um, wheelbase on this is 55.5 inches. Nice short wheelbase. Just a beautiful thing in that sense. I just love it. I just love it. Uh, front tire is a 17. It says it's a 120 70 17 on this one. Race techs I think. Yeah, race tech K3s. And the back is sporting a uh, 17 also. 160 60 17. Beautiful. Look at that tire. Just absolute heart and wheel. I love these things, I just love them. Seat height on this is about 31 and a half inches, which is, um, I think that's low. I've got a 30 inch 
inseam and I'm very comfortable on it. The thing about these triumphs is they're so narrow, you know, for a 1200cc motorcycle, I mean, look at that. It's just nothing to it. I mean, look how narrow that seat comes down to. Beautiful, beautiful. ABS brakes too, by the way. Gallons of gas, it's a uh, 3.8 gallon tank. That's 14.5 liters, I believe. And uh, what else can I tell you about it? Oh, the wheels. I should have got that earlier. These are aluminum wheels. So they're, uh, you know, lighter than steel. Gorgeous machine, gorgeous machine. So let's talk about what's extra on this. And we'll just start here at the front again. Um, by the way, metal fender. Uh, these blinkers are different. LED, nice inbound, you know, short, pretty, gorgeous. It's got this smoke and screen on there, and it is smoked. Um, adjustable levers, by the way. Got these uh, nice Triumph bar end mirrors. Just gorgeous, and they do work very well. Isn't that just pretty? Pretty, pretty. Then, of course, the big thing that stands out, and we'll, we'll hear it when I'm running this later, that Zard exhaust, Zard 2 into 1. Zard is always beautiful no matter what it's on. Official Italiane. Just a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Look at the coloring. I mean, the whole thing is just art. Every weld is perfect. Just, wow, that alone is amazing. I'm not sure if these foot pegs are stock, but the, they're adjustable. Look at that. You can twist them. I love it. I love it. Uh, stepping back a little farther. Of course, we got the same thing on the back. These are the uh, blinkers and the tail light, by the way. If I turn that on, let's get that on. So the camera might show these flashing, but they're not flashing right now. So that's the uh, lights on. Hit the brake, those brighten up, and they're also the blinkers. Blinker in the, in the inside. Um, let's try the hazards. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Then, of course, there are these bags. The, uh, let's shut this off. They're removable with a lock, with a key. These frames stay on the bike. Um, the bags are removable. They're uh, Epco and Becker. I've not had one open yet. Let's see what we got in there. Oh, they're expandable. I'm not sure how you open them then. Oh, I see. Very nice. Carrying straps, pockets on the inside. Wow, I like it. I wonder if you get a helmet in there. That's a good question. Very nice handles. Uh, the tidy on the back, there's a tail tidy on the back. Look at that for the license plate. Which is gorgeous. They put a tank, tank pad on there. Um, let's jump up here real quick. The uh, clutch lever is adjustable, as is the brake lever. That's a Brembo caliper. Brembo badging right there. The uh, bars look like they've been raised up a little bit. I don't know what brand those are. I can't see a marking on them, but they've been raised. The uh, bar end mirrors already talked about. I'm not sure if these are standard grips or not, but look at this dash. Very bright today, but uh, you know, all the lighting, traction control, ABS, oil, battery light, everything. And these mirror, these, the glass on this is domed. If you run your hand across that, it has a kind of a dome to it, but uh, speedometer on the left, tag on over on the right, looks like a 7,000 RPM red line. Looks like we've got a digital fuel gauge on this side. We've got trip meters and all that stuff over here. The bike has uh, traction control, and um, I think it has two modes, sport and road. I don't think it has a rain mode, but uh, if this was my bike, it'd be traction control on in sport mode all the time. <laughs> Just a wet dream to ride on. Uh, what we have here, okay, the mode button right here for controlling the modes, and the information button for going through the options. Blinkers, horn, Cash the flashlight on this side, the uh, kill switch, the run switch, and the starter switch all in one. Uh, ride by wire, throttle. Just, just a wet dream. Just a wet dream. Oh, uh, something I missed here. We've got an extra large foot on the kickstand already. And as always, look at the Triumph kickstand. That's nothing plain. They're, they just go to great work. To uh, you know, a lot of detail in there. That's uh, part of every Triumph. I love the way this looks on the front. It's kind of a fairing. Just beautiful, beautiful looking in every way. The silver, and these springs, you know, it just, I love all this little detail. Just a gorgeous thing. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Hardest part of the job, guys. Me, Fuzzy Biker, I have to go ride that bike now. Let's go do it. Wahoo! So let's see what we can get this thing to do today. Kickstand is up, key is on, kill switch is in, run. Look at that dash, isn't that something? Whoa! That's that Zarg Tuna 1. Can you hear it? I love it, I love it. There it is, Baxter Cycle, Marnie, Iowa. BaxterCycle.com, that's a 1200 Tiger right there. BaxterCycleOmaha.com, check those guys out, tell them uh, Fuzzy Biker sent you. Listen to the sound of this hot rod. <laughs> we better take it easy, right? Oh my goodness, my goodness, what a what a machine. 100 horsepower, I think it was 100, maybe it was 102, 103, something like that, and 80 foot-pounds of torque, and I think the torque, um, max torque was at 4,000 RPM, if I remember right. A little over 55 inch wheelbase, 55.5, I think. Let's see how she turns here. Just a dream, just a dream. Look at that, just does exactly what you want it to do. I love it, I love it. And sounds good doing it, looks good doing it. The clutch has tremendous feel, just exactly right. Not heavy, not light, it, it, you can tell it means business. I've ridden a few of these and uh, they're, they're always amazing. Every single one, just a dream. Love it. The mirrors are just absolutely clear. No vibration through them at all. Look at that. Cuts like a knife. Cuts like a knife. Picks up like a banshee. Holy moly. We are in road mode. We're not in sport mode, thank goodness. Even in road mode, this thing is just amazing. The ferry works pretty darn well for a little tiny thing like that. My helmet is not being buffeted. It's a pretty windy day here today. The bike's pretty stable. I'm not getting blown around a lot and uh, the wind is cutting pretty well. Hey, we're in Iowa. Look, a tractor. I think Speed Twin is the funnest of the Triumph 1200 parallels. It's just a beautiful engine, and this this is a machine that they've done it right on. Iowa's busiest intersection. Look at this. Look at all the traffic. My gosh, there isn't any. I was here earlier today, and there's half a dozen cars. Oh, here comes a couple cars. There's a truck. Maybe we can get ahead of them, huh? Insane. I wasn't even trying. This thing just lights right up. The God of Thunder lives in this bike. That Zard pipe is amazing. So I've also ridden the Thruxton. The Thruxton has the same engine, has a higher end suspension, uh, about $5,000 more money than this is. And um, it had, the Thruxton has a much more aggressive seating position. It's a solo bike, really. Uh, this, to me, is a lot more versatile, a lot more fun, and $5,000 cheaper. And with this pipe, it's insane. Any any Zard pipe is worth the money. Whatever they charge for them, pay it, it's worth it. So what do I think of the Speed Twin? Well, it's my favorite Triumph Parallel Twin. It's got great handling, a good seating position, it's got a back seat that's actually usable. It's a friendly, good-looking motorcycle. It's got incredible, incredible performance. Uh, it's a winner in every way. The, the handling is superb. The brakes are phenomenal, like all Triumphs. The power that you pick up is just beyond belief. I love the thing, I love it. Now this one on top of everything else has the Zard pipe, which adds adds so much. I, I can't even quantify what it adds. It's just phenomenal. Whatever they get for a Zard pipe, whatever they get for a Zard pipe, pay it. It's worth it. 
rolling back into the mighty mini tropolis of Marnie, Iowa. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please hit like, subscribe, and share. If you like this motorcycle or any other Triumph, new or used, or Royal Enfield, new or used, or other classic British motorcycle, please contact Baxter Cycle at BaxterCycle.com or BaxterCycleOmaha.com. I sure appreciate letting them letting me uh, use this motorcycle. Please let them know that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Time to take this thing home. Good grief. I don't want to do it. I never do, do I? Life is short. Get out there and ride, y'all. Wahoo! Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. That, my friends, is a 2022 Triumph Ski Twin with a Zard 2 into 1 header. Isn't that just a beautiful machine? I've taken that up and down the road a few times today. It's a rough job, somebody's got to do it. Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com if you want to check into it. Hot Rod, Wahoo!